Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a long time since you have seen me bare face like this, but I thought I would do a little like impromptu um, kind of get ready with me type video today because I've not done anything like this for a while. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd have a chat with you guys, put my makeup on and show you what I'm kind of wearing on a daily basis at the moment. Um, it's actually like, what time is it? half two um but i've been working all morning from home and i'm just about to go and film some videos um the rest of this afternoon so i thought i'd obviously put some makeup on and i thought why not just film me doing it so um yeah that's what we're gonna do i've been wanting to do a little get ready with me chat through kind of my current favorite products for a while now i was gonna do it as part of like a vlog portion but when I'm wearing makeup um, on my vlogs, it's usually obviously because I'm going out typically to work in Chester or something and in the mornings I am just too rushed to um, take the time to put makeup on on camera. So that's why I've not done it, but we're going to do it today because my approach to makeup has changed so much in the last like... And in the last year pretty much anyway because like this time last year I was either wearing no makeup at all or I was like going all out and like full like contour, big eye looks, everything else. Um, and then I moved back home and kind of, I think I embraced a more natural look last summer. Um, but yeah, like particularly this year, I've just been <laughs> really stripping back my makeup routine. Um, it's been pretty crazy. So anyway, I'm just going to start throwing some makeup on my face and I thought I would chat with you guys while I do it. Because this is impromptu, by the way, my makeup brushes are gross, but would this be a makeup video of mine if they were not gross? No, it would not. There we go. I'm gonna prime my face first of all with my YSL Touche Clat Blur Primer. I love this stuff. It's got like gold flecks in it. It makes me feel really bougie when I wear it. Um, I've got my little mirror down here, by the way, so if I'm like staring down here, that would be why. So... Yeah, um, it is currently the end of April. I don't know when this video is going to go live, so it could go live next week. It could go live in three weeks' time because I have like a backlog of content at the moment which I'm trying to get through. Um, but it's really cold today. Like, I'm wearing a jumper and it's nearly May. That's not okay. That rhymed as well. Um, like, this time last year, we were kind of starting the crazy heat wave i think i love that primer it makes my skin feel so soft um at the moment i'm cycling between two different foundations so i'm gonna chat to you about both of them before i show you which one i'm actually gonna wear um the one i'm actually gonna wear is nearly run out and it's making me so sad so i need to replace it but basically i'm either wearing my ysl all hours foundation in the shade b30 or i'm wearing the dior backstage foundation in the shade 1n um, this one obviously I got for Christmas and I love it. I really really love it, but I've realized it is too dark for me I tried to um I tried to color match online uh, Rather than going into store to get it done and I was out by about two or three shades So when I'm fake tanned, it's perfect, but when I am not It's a little bit too dark and at the moment my fake tan needs redoing so I'm gonna go with the Dior backstage um, I really love this like when I first got it I wasn't a hundred percent convinced because it is a very 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 watery consistency like I'm sure you can see on my hand there um, and it is quite a light coverage and I've always loved a really really like heavy coverage foundation like full coverage um, but over the year or not over the years really over the last six months um, my tastes have definitely changed so yeah I'm really favouring um, this it's just much nicer on the skin super lightweight apparently everyone says it reminds them of um max face and body foundation i wouldn't know because i never used mac face and body um but we'll just go with what the masses have said <laughs> um now you can see this is probably a touch dark as well i could do with really because i am so fair um i could do with really going maybe a shade lighter in this foundation as well which i probably will do for winter but um we're we can we can deal with it we just blend it onto the neck and it'll be fine <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna redo my my uh my fake tan later i've been using for the past year the isle of paradise um i think i got it in medium uh mousse and i really love it but um i went into boots this week to go and get some more because i've nearly run out and i saw that they had vita liberata on offer and it was actually cheaper than isle of paradise so i've wanted to try vita liberata for ages although it's so expensive so i thought i'd be a little bit bougie and um try it this time i'm, I'm using a new concealer these days um i've gone for the nars uh, radiant cream concealer 
um, which we all know is like a cult product. I picked up uh, Light 2.5, which is called Creme Brulee. I think this maybe is one touch too dark. Again, I seem, it seems to be like a, a running theme at the moment. Um, I think I could do with going, when this runs out, going back and getting one shade lighter. But it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I still conceal the same places, even though I'm not really, like, doing it with kind of the whole contouring thing in mind. Um, I just feel like, to be fair, these are the areas on my face that need concealing the most anyway. So, yeah. And anyone who watched my old, um makeup videos and knows that I used to conceal after powdering. I hope you're happy. I have changed my ways. I have changed my ways. I now conceal the normal way after putting my foundation on and before powder because I learned my lesson. My makeup was looking patchy. Yeah, I knew there was something to this whole um, don't mix formula thing. By the way, if you've changed direction ever so slightly, it's because my memory card was just full, so I just had to delete a few things. And I'll probably fill up again like any minute. Um, so I'm actually going to quickly after I finish my concealer and powder just nip off camera and just delete a few things before we continue otherwise I'm going to be fighting with my camera for the whole of this video um, which is not ideal. I'm going to um, powder, I'm using the Revolution Bake and Blot powder at the moment in the shade Banana. I actually got this when I went to Amsterdam yeah, I think I got this for Amsterdam because, um, obviously, I was flying just hand luggage, so I was struggling to fit in all my makeup anyway. Um, I'm not just talking, like, liquids, like, all my makeup in general, because there wasn't much space in my case. Um, and then I decided not to take my YSL powder with me because it's just so big, like, the tub of it is huge. And I thought it's going to take up, like, half the space that I've got for makeup. Um, so I didn't take it and then now I actually just really like a pressed powder more I've just established this over the last few months So I've just been using this all the time pretty much and I'm enjoying it. Anyway Let's put some eyebrows. I'm still using my very well-loved Ilmasca brow cake in Thunder, which Is just not going down. It's like the product that keeps on giving honestly um, but I should probably get another brow product soon because It's pretty gross. I've had it for a very long time. I did actually vlog over Easter um, I don't know if that'll be up by the time you've seen it, so if it is, I'll link it in the- uh, by the time this is up, sorry. So if it is, I'll link it in the cards up there. Um, but yeah, I made some Easter cakes. I spent a lot of time outside, which was nice. Um, and yeah, just had some family time, you know, which I seem to be doing a lot of at the moment, but it's- it's very good for the soul, to be fair. It's very good for the soul, so, um, yeah. I'm actually planning or trying to plan some more trips this year. Um, so I want to go back to Paris and I want to go back with mum um, because we've never been to Paris together Obviously my trip for my birthday was my first um, ever visit to the city um, Although mum took me to Disneyland Paris when I was a kid with my granny, but obviously I, I think I was about three So I don't actually remember that um, Which is a shame because I'd have loved to have remembered it more like I have little snippets of memory like the time when um we went on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride thinking it was going to be like a little boat trip and it turned out to be a full on log flume. My granny wasn't supposed to go on things like that because she had heart problems, bless her. Um, and we were petrified and I think maybe that's why I don't like roller coasters actually, even though it's not a roller coaster, but you know, it's it's like a ride, more of a ride than like, it's a small world, which apparently I went on like 60,000 times. Um, yeah, so me and mum want to go to Paris. Um, I think that might be quite an expensive trip though because we do love to shop so I think originally we wanted to go at the end of summer or rather I wanted to go towards the end of summer because I want to see the city in summer um, see what the atmosphere is like but I think to be more realistic to our budget and our like finances we might have to go towards the end of the year which is fine um, I just would like to go back. I have my eyes on a handbag that I want to buy when I'm there, which is quite pricey. Um, so I need to kind of um, continue to control my spending. I'm on a spending ban at the moment. I'm going to do my eyes now. I still really hate those brows. So for the past month or so, probably two months, I've been using this little palette, which is one that I put together like literally when I first started blogging. So like 2014 from MAC. It's this little quad. And we've got Dazzle Light, 
Amber Lights cork and woodwinked and yeah I've been just using cork and woodwinked every single day on my eyes for the past two months because I'm really dull um so I'm really loving brow uh, browns on my eyes um but Mina Cosmetics sent me some goodies about two months ago which I've just been kind of playing around with and at the moment one of my favorites is um their cream eyeshadow and I'm moving some like sticky label off it um they sent me this one in the shade 320 and it's just like a really nice brown so I'm going to use that and then I'm going to blend in some of those MAC colors as well so I've got a little flat brush and I'm just going to go all over the lid of them with this it's like super super pigmented I've never used a cream eyeshadow before so I wasn't really sure what to expect they sent me some other colors too which I've not really tried yet um and it's like a pale pink um like a vibrant orange which is gorgeous but i'm quite scared of it um i think it'd be quite nice for summer and then there's like a lilac -y color that i think from memory has a bit of a shimmer to it as well so um i'll probably give that a go in the summer too i'm just not feeling like massively colorful at the moment i mean i'm, I'm never feeling massively colorful as we all know but if there's anywhere that i'm most likely to have color on my body it's either going to be my eyes or my nails and right now both of these I'm just sticking with neutrals. Stick with what I know best. I'm gonna go with Woodwinked and I'm just gonna take it and blend it into the Mina shade and just take that up above onto my brow bone a little bit. Honestly, I love doing these kind of makeup looks because they're just so quick in the mornings. Like, this takes me maybe 10 minutes when I'm not kind of like chatting the whole way through. Oh yeah, I love it. But I've got um, such a backlog of content to show you guys. I'm really excited to show you all. Um, basically, I kind of, while all this stuff was going on behind the scenes, um, obviously not being uploading quite as regularly as I was doing, just, or not so much not uploading as regularly, but I hadn't really been sticking to a schedule just because I was uploading as and when either I could like physically do it with my internet or um when my brain was just like engaged enough to do it but now I think I've kind of fallen into a schedule again which is good um and yeah so I'm gonna be doing two videos a week for the time being and then I might get back up to three again um but I mean the main reason I've gone down to doing two is just because my wi-fi is so slow here in, like because I live just over the border in North Wales um and it's just honestly so slow like i have no words for how bad it is um it can take me anywhere up to 48 hours to upload a video so obviously when you're trying to upload three a week even if you're super prepared and really organized and pre-filmed and scheduled loads sometimes it just doesn't go according to plan um and it's very frustrating so <laughs> that's why i've gone down to two a week just to give me the chance to actually be able to stick to a schedule and not kind of feel like I'm messing up and not uploading enough or whatever so it's Wednesdays and Sundays at the moment you guys and then hopefully eventually it will go back to being three a week but yeah for the time being Wednesdays and Sundays this is the NARS Climax mascara by the way it's the one I got for Christmas and I love it my Smashbox contour palette is honestly seeing better days at this point. Like, look at this, it's a mess. Um, but I'm at the moment using both the contour and the bronzer from this. So bronzer on this little, I think this is actually a contour brush from Real Techniques, but it'll do. I don't know if anyone else has this, but I feel like whenever I put my makeup on, I can never tell if I've got an even amount of like bronzer and contour on each cheek because I feel like one cheek is always in shadow. Um, more than the other and then I feel like whichever cheek is in shadow more or less gets I don't know anyway one cheek will always end up getting more product on it it's becoming very frustrating very frustrating you guys it's proper first world problems right here anyway let me know like what's new of you guys in the comments because I kind of want to spark more conversation on this channel um rather than just like not <laughs> if you guys follow me anyway for blush i'm still using my amazonian clay blush from tarte in the shade party which is this beautiful one i'm going to be so sad when this is used up because i don't think you can buy this this came in like a special set thing with sephora when i was in america and um yeah i don't think you can get this shade so i'm gonna be really sad but 
that's life. I don't really put much blush on to be honest. I gotta say I like to be more au naturel these days. I don't know. I'm also using the Amazonian Clay Highlighter in the shade Exposed. Oh my god, I'm dropping it everywhere. In the shade Exposed. This actually has like a really nice scent to it. It reminds me of like a cocoa scent. I'm like, oh, it's so good. And I just use like a flat brush to put this on, which probably isn't really what I should be using, but mm, whatever. It would be such a good highlight though. I love it. I love this stuff. A little bit on my nose. A little bit on my upper lip, which I really need to wax my upper lip. Oh my god, I hope you guys can't see that on camera. <laughs> oh well. Um, and the last thing I'm going to do is put on my lippy. I'm wearing Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury like every day at the moment. I love it. I think I'm going to have to buy myself another one of these when I go to Manchester next because um, I think the lipstick's also um, limited edition, like the eyeshadow palette. And this is like my favourite lipstick at the moment. So I might have like remedied how I do my concealer, but I still do my lipstick and lip liner backward. And I know people don't like that either, but I'm sorry guys. It's also Pillow Talk lip liner. Sorted. Makes my lips, my lips, my teeth look super white as well. Like I am still having them um, professionally whitened at the moment, so. The video for that will be coming um, as of filming this video. Um, the process hasn't finished yet. So yeah, guys, that's me ready to go and film some videos now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Um, if you have, let me know. I don't really know how you guys feel about me doing get ready with me's. I'm not exactly like a um, beauty guru, <laughs> makeup guru, as you can quite clearly tell. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, and if you aren't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!